What's good with the YouTube? Yo, we know Big Flocker with a comics perspective. And I'm smashing, dashing, sliding on through with that little bit of energy, man. What's good with it, man? Please hit the subscribe, comment, like, do all those things to help support this channel. And hit that bell notification one time to get fire-ass content, man. Today, we're going to talk about Monterey, South County, in particular, two cities that are really close to each other, man. And that is uh, King City and Greenfield. Now, since 1999, I think they've had a total of over 45 unsolved murders. Now, I think the national rate is, I think, one in every three murders get solved. Um, I think in this these towns, I think they're over 50%. We're going to go into a little bit about that, man. But let's first talk about, get, get you guys acquainted with these neighborhoods. Okay, um, San Antonio Gardens and Vadio KCN are the two only two North Daniel hoods in King City. That's Vital King City North Daniels and San Antonio Gardens, right? The town is probably the majority more South Siders. You got uh, Los, uh, was it Los Las Esperanza Trece in uh, Mex was it Mexican Clan Locals, I think. Let me check it out real quick. I have a little bit of notes here, guys. And Mexican Clan Locals, I was right, man, are the main, are the main hoods. Now, there's a trailer park with a comfort court. It's not really a hood, but there's a lot of Sudanians pushing right there in that area, man. Now, as far as Greenfield, there really was only one Sudanian hood that tried to come out. I think it was called Mosquedos or Mosqueras, right? Let me make sure I got that one right. Mosqueras was the only neighborhood. They pretty much got ran out of Greenfield. Greenfield is more traditional North Daniels. Now, back to the KC. Before we get to Greenfield, San Antonio Gardens, man, I know someone particularly from that hood. Um... I was on the streets as a kid. We went to school together, man. And that's uh, Scooby Angel. I think his last name is Zuniga or Zavala. Zavala. I keep on forgetting, but, you know, he has about two other brothers that are from San Antonio Gardens, man. He used to come post up, kick it in the hood, and uh, was a good dude, man. Um, had a little bit different stilo than a lot of other homeboys I met. Um, like certain words he used to use, like the gas, was like another word of saying beadman. You know, he's a good dude, though, man. Um we used to get off after school and go panhandle and drink beers and shit to go try to mack on females back in like 93. Anyways, uh, as far as Greenfield, you had uh, Vado Grande Nor uh, Norte and you had tiny locals and then you had Northside and then you had a lot of other smaller hoods and then you just had homeboys that been Greenfast, right? Not really traditionally too many Sudanios there. But in any event, both these count cities, right, have about anywhere from I think 13 to 17,000 people in them population wise. But they average anywhere from seven to ten murders a year. That's a lot per population. Okay, that's that's a high statistic rate. And then therefore, that doesn't go into all the numerous shootings, stabbings, um, home invasions, and whatnot. Now, this, these are traditionally rural areas, farmlands right here. Okay. Now, with all these unsolved murders, we're gonna get to that later. But let's talk a little bit about the history. There's been some known people who've been. Um, very much in the mix, which was one of them was an individual named uh, Pistoleros or Pist Pistol Pete from uh, Tiny Lokes from Greenfoss. To this day, I believe he's the youngest familiano to ever get recruited to the NF. And he was part of that case where the, they were on uh, Highway 101, South County, Monterey, where they were running Sudanos out of Greenfield and they would chase them into King City and they would they were shooting them and basically murdering Sudanos on the freeway. He was, that was part of his case. Now, there was another individual named Crispin. I got some notes for this one, who was a good homeboy. A lot of people know him, right? And um, he was boasted, he basically got smoked in front of El Par Paraso, which was a nightclub in Greenfield. He was killed by an MA associate, not a Sudanio, but an MA associate, Cal Urfi, who was caught running down the street with a strap in his hat and he snitched. His son was also a well-known Southsider, right? Who used to shoot at a lot of homeboys. He couldn't fight, so he was a shooter. He too went PC, but these are Sudanians that were pretty much at one time, one an MA associate, basically Camarada, and uh, the other one, basically his son, they had a lot of influence in that town, right? And, um, you know, these are big, big fucking cases that happened back then, man. Like, I went through all the lists of all the unsolved uh, murders. There was kids that were from the ages of 15 to 24 were the ones that made this list. But mainly they were between the ages of 17 to 19. And it was murder after murder, double, double homicides. And they're all unsolved cases, man. Now, one thing you got to understand about these small cities, right? They probably come from the county, which is Monterey County, 
which has probably one of the most prestigious looked at cities in all the North Daniel uh, uh, Collective, which is Salinas, right? Salas is basically a Mecca. Look at that, like an un, undelegated, undeclared fucking headquarters, right? Therefore, the same homeboys from these small towns like Gonzales, Chole, um, San Lucas, King City, Grifas, they have to go to the same county jail. Therefore, they're all to par. You know, the education, the indoctrination, the teachings, and uh, as well as they've had a lot of good homeboys come out out through the streets in the 90s and 2000s. So Daniel being one of them, Isaac Cota, or Israel Cota from uh, Greenfield, right? He was a very, very sharp head model. I think he got pulled as a C at the end of his career. Um, I knew him pretty well. Um, Droopy from Greenfoss, he's not active either no more, but he was real solid. And then Brandon Brazier Weddle from, uh, from Greenfoss. I was there when he got his insult dollar status stamped. All good dudes, man. All good homeboys. And uh, as well as Chente was out there setting up shop. And that's where the thing started to, to evolve was, I think a lot of it had to do with Short Daniel and Chente being out there in the area. You know what I'm saying? Short Daniel had an influence because he was from that area, right? And looked as a big homie in their eyes, as well as Chente. So there was a big influence by these individuals being out there in the streets for a minute. Now, as far as uh, uh, being up to par, I say by the 2000s, right, with all the homeboys going in and out of the county jail, a lot of these small cities had something to, something to prove. They had a chip on their shoulder. They wanted to be recognized that we're on an equal playing field of education, awareness, and discipline as these Salineros. You know what I'm saying? Because that county, Salinas, gets all the recognition, which they deserve recognition. But don't sleep on these small cities, man. They, they get active out there. You know what I'm saying? Extremely active. And I think one of the hugest reasons why a lot of these individuals are getting away with so many different hot ones and murders out there in the streets, right? Is because it's traditionally a Mexican community. 97% of the population is probably Mexican. A lot of them are probably illegal, right? So no one wants to sit there and call the cops, first and foremost. Second of all, there's small cities out there where the NF has a strong influence out there. If anybody decides to tell, they'll, they'll, go, after, they'll go after you straight up. And it's not going to be too hard. There's nowhere to hide. So therefore, they get a lot, of, a lot less cooperation because of language barriers with the police, but as well as fear. I mean, it's pretty self, self-explanatory. self You know what I'm saying? You're in a community where the gangs run these communities. You don't want to piss off the gangs. You got kids, you got relatives, you got whatnot that live all in these small towns. Someone somewhere is connected. You make the wrong choice, you put yourself and your family in danger. Okay? But anyways, um, yes, yeah, it's a short little spill about King City Greenfield, man. Uh, I think that, um, you know, when you compare their level of game banging, it's different than places like L.A. who are the set trainers and the ones that pretty much blew everything up in the movie Color, right? Yeah, they're the set trainers. They game bang on a different level, right? But these small towns out there, King City, Greenfield, even Salinas, they play on a whole different level of game banging. You know what I'm saying? They give you the whole... Uh, Different explanation of creeping, you know what I'm saying? Strategic. A lot of times they are very strategic in how they do their attacks. So therefore, the Sudanios that are out there, much respect to the Sudanios that are actively in these communities because these these Sudanios have it pretty bad out there in these communities, and they still hold their own from time to time, or at least in their rivals, they're going to hold their own straight up, and they're forever getting attacked from several hoods because um, the only town that is more Sudanio dominated would have to be. Uh, uh, what King City and what I don't know about Seaside, you know what I'm saying? But King City for sure has more Sudanos. But King City, Greenfield, they're right there together. It pretty much balances it out. All other city, it's all North Daniels, right? Salinas, all North Daniels, but the Sudanos out there, they're hitters. And this is the environment that they live in and choose to game bang in. You know, uh, but you know, I've done a lot of time with a lot of individuals from uh, South County and Salinas, and uh. I see no difference in level of awareness, discipline, or education. At first, you may have seen it, but as things transformed, as homeboys were going into the county jail, homeboys were getting out, everybody got up to an equal playing field. You know what I mean? So South County deserves just as much respect as far as being recognized as a set trainers within the North Indian movement, the ones that hold themselves to the highest standards, as Salinas does. You know, other count, I'm, I'm gonna say this, right? Nowadays, most counties have a big influence of rec representation and are recognized for the 
you know, how they've been able to establish, you know, the, the North Daniel plight, the North Daniel movement in their counties. Kings County, Tulare County, San Joaquin, um, Stanley's, you know, there's a few counties where it's not as dominant as, say, uh, like Santa Clara, um, Monterey, or Tulare, right? But there's still those that hold their own, man. It doesn't matter where you're from. It's who you are as a man, what you represent. And see, uh, it you have a tendency to see in environments that have less homeboys, they're influenced with outside influences. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, digressing a little bit off that. So KC, man. King City and Greenfoss. This is a little quick spill, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy Flacco. I'm out.